afternoon, Viva MK. Thank you for joining me once again for our weekly update on the Viva MK business. Um, of course, a few things to go through today and tell you what's been going on, of course, and what's coming in the future. Love having these catch-ups with you. It's a great way to connect, uh, as is any kind of conversation. This, this is our ongoing dialogue. So it just seems that last week I caused some controversy by talking about people sniffing around your inboxes. Do you think that's going to make me change my language? Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> it was just reference to the fact that don't ever become one of those networks or distributors that go around trying to recruit people from other businesses. It's something that we never want to do. I don't want this to become a negative conversation or anything like that. It's something we don't do and we will never do that. I don't want to ever hear of any Viva MK distributor having to resort to that to uneducated way of sponsoring people. You know, if your business is good enough, you should be able to sponsor anywhere. And that's the ethos here. So yes, uh, I guess I caused, ruffled a few feathers last week, not within our network, I might add. Um, but as you know, I wasn't making any reference to anyone in particular, just other networks in general that have that kind of philosophy or then or their distributors do at least, that they seem to want to sniff around your inbox to try and get you into their business. Anyway, end of that conversation. Don't do it. It's not us. It's not our ethos. It's not the way we work. Let others do that and that's fine. So it's been an extraordinary week in industry in general. Just want to skip over this very, very quickly in reference to business. Uh, Jamie's Italian had problems, British Steel, and of course the Arcadian Group, Philip Newman's Arcadian Group. Lots of job losses. Uh, you know, I have all, my, all sympathy goes out to those people having been there in this situation only last year with two companies it's not a good situation to be in um, not only that we have a prime minister that just won't budge um, Brexit Brexit don't know whether we're coming or going which is kind of story of my life I never know whether I'm coming or going and on top of all that and this is the tenuous link I was getting to I didn't get your catalog on time of course the outdoor catalog uh, I guess at this rate it's soon going to be called the inside catalog and I don't want to go out because there's no longer warm catalogue. No, that's not true. Yes, it was delayed. Orderable from 3 p.m. today. Of course, you can place your orders from 3 p.m. today and until between 3 p.m. and 11.59 p.m. on Monday evening, every order will get 50 free outdoor catalogues. We finally got there. I originally promised it at the end of April. You know, things go wrong. Things happen. Things get in the way. The twisty road gets even twistier. Um, and sometimes things aren't delivered. Now, you know, I'm not too cut up about it. I, maybe I shouldn't open my big mouth so soon and promise things so so early. The idea is always to, you know, under promise and over deliver. I tend to over promise and under deliver sometimes, but that's not the point. The point is, it's about perspective. Um, yes, we're four weeks late with that. Um, I, I do think it's going to be an absolute um, a game changer for us as every catalog that we bring out should be every new catalog we bring out should be a game changer in some way shape or form and I truly believe finally when you do get the outdoors catalog it'll be too um, cold to go outdoors but in the outdoors catalog it will be a complete and utter game changer for us and our business so you'll get that next week orderable as i said from today if you haven't seen the email from 3 p.m today you can actually place orders for it from 3 p.m today until monday night any order we will get will also have 50 free outdoor catalogs put into it so it's there now it's taken its time it's been riddled with challenges but you know like i said to you last week every single day you wake up there's defeats and victories and gratitude i'm just grateful it finally came out whilst we still have summer or well whilst we still have spring um and the defeats are out the way because we deal with them and we turn them into victories and that's what we do so um it's on its way so i do apologize for the four weeks of lateness but it was unavoidable, I have to say. So many things went wrong, but it will definitely be massively worth it. Now, perspective is something I just wanted to discuss quickly today. You know, we mustn't ever lose sight of the perspective, um, it, it, especially in regards to our business. You know, 
as I keep telling you every week, you know, we're, we're not yet a year old. We have a the challenges that any business has before they're a year old, whatever those challenges are, um, you know, but the great thing is people are still making money, people are still joining our business, and we still have a business that is vibrant and dynamic. And that's down to every single one of you that make it like that. You know, it was a bit, it's been a depressing week in industry in general. You know, lots of things have been going on. Lots of people potentially losing their jobs. The, the country is in a, in a bit of a state politically. There's European elections going on today that nobody even wanted. So the, the whole situation, and it's only Thursday, the whole situation all around us is chaos. So if we can have a little bit of perspective on our business that what we're doing, yes, it has its days of chaos. Yes, it has its days when things go wrong yes it's sometimes riddled with defeats however in in the grand scheme of things and remember that in the grand scheme of things what every single one of you is doing is phenomenal you know your contribution and the collaboration that you have is nothing like I've ever seen and I've been in the industry a long long time now I don't see it in other organizations you know your camaraderie your connection your collaborative attitude and the way you 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 think you think and you perceive this business is quite quite unique so in a week where almost everything is going wrong we still have people smiling in this business doing the the business making money from the business and we're only like I always tell you 11 months in so don't let don't let's ever lose that perspective and I'm kind of saying that for my own reassurance as well because there are times when I lose perspective on the business and I start worrying about things going wrong but like I said last week prepare for defeats, prepare for victories, and always with a massive amount of gratitude towards everything you people are doing in the business and what we're doing as a collaboration. So on Sunday, we had the Scotch Corner meeting, the big one. Lauren Hardy, a.k.a. Ram Nandi, put on a fantastic meeting, some brilliant training. Again, you know, showing the connection and unique collaboration of people. Um, you know, I've always said that meetings are important, face-to-face -face meetings. I know all kinds of connections are important, but, you know, the power of being in front of people and together with people is something that can never be surpassed by anything. Um, Lynn McDonald is starting a new webinar um, on the 5th of June and it's like a back to basics success stories training um, or just good stuff about the business and there's always room for more and more training and coaching and remember this is all free so 5th of June I'm sure Lynn will post the link the first people on that webinar are going to be Ali Lloyd and Jeff Locke and you know I have to say, again, massive contributors to the business, as so many of you are. You know, Ali and Jeff have contributed so much in ethos, in their work effort and their recognition within the business, inspired so many people. Don't you two forget that. And, you know, don't anybody forget what you've done in this business. You know, I know I made a big thing of the pioneers in this business and that will become a big thing. You know, the front runners of the people that got this together. You know, I'm alongside with you, one of the pioneers pioneers of this organization and we will look back in years to come and we will congratulate our pioneers for being the ones that put us where we are so Ali and Jeff 5th of June is the first webinar Lynn will post the link because I forgot to get hold of it but Lynn will post a link but do try and get on there for basic training basic stuff about the business and just all the stuff you need to be able to build an organization so all the zooms we have in in the business all the meetings we have now that this is there's this webinar this is just nurturing and growing to the portfolio that we'll have of training and coaching and mentoring and it's so important in this kind of business that we do that and there'll be more of that coming up in the next few months you know we're doing quite a lot of things where coaching and getting together is concerned so do try and watch that um 
Of course, next week, it's the end of May. And like I've always said to you, at the end of every month, I'll give you a set of objectives of things that I want to achieve and then miserably fail at. No, 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 ignore the last bit. Things that I want to achieve. So next Thursday, I will give you all the things. I'll give you a review of the year so far and some of the things that we have achieved. Remember, victories. Um, and we'll also go through some of the objectives that I have because as most of you are pioneers, or majority of the people in the business still are pioneers, Pioneers, you know you're with us at the forefront so I want you to know what's going on in the organization that's so important you know and, and that brings me on to the next subject I've always said to you to contact me whenever you want and you do in your hundreds and I apologize that I can't always return calls and reply but still keep doing it even if it takes me five days to reply to you still keep doing it my reason for mentioning that um, I said to you at the earlier part of this conversation there was some controversy about the, some of the things I said I had to make contact with a, a large organization um, that is prominent in our industry and I won't give you the name but you know I tried probably for half an hour to try and find who to make contact with within that organization and to me that is not people friendly no matter what they say or however they give their perception I could not find an executive in the business to write an email to and that in a people's business can't be right so I always want to stay at the forefront where you can contact me you can call me you can email me message me whatsapp me or whatever way you want to communicate and you will get a reply and you will get an answer I don't ever want us to become no matter how big we get the kind of organization where you can't contact me you can't contact the leaders or you can't contact people who work in this business everybody should stay in an open forum that's always been my philosophy it was my philosophy in clean easy it's my philosophy now it's an open forum you should be able to contact me any given time about anything as i said the only thing i will apologize about is that i don't always get to return the messages it, it, it very quickly sometimes because there's so many but i don't care i don't care if it takes me days i will get through all of them so like I say, that was particularly um, important because last week I was trying to find prominent people I could write to it. And after, after half an hour, I gave up and just wrote a really basic email to a customer services address, which just means why, you know, why couldn't I contact the leaders? Why couldn't I, you know, connect with those people? You should always connect in that way. You know, we were here at the beginning less than a year ago, which means we are the founding members. You guys are the pioneers. And I guess what that means is not just a tagline or a badge. It means that we are at the forefront of what we do. So finally, you'll get your catalogue next week. As I said, orderable from 3 p.m. today um, and 50 free in every order from 3 p.m. today. So make sure you get your orders in to, to get not only put the catalogue order in, but to get your freebies as well. Um, and I can tell you something, the more I see that, and it bounced back and forward from the printers because there were a few challenges with the plates and a few challenges with the pages. So it's bouncing back and forward. We made a few corrections on it. Thank you for your all the input there. Um, but I have to say, the more I see it, the more I think it's just another game changer for us. And I'd like to have that as an ongoing goal, that every single production we give you, every single thing we do, whether it's a conference, a showcase, a meeting, a catalog or anything like that, is always a game changer. And, and that's a great way to be, that you try and always make something better or different than it has been before. And that's progression. I know it's a lot easier to do that when you're a new organization, which we still are. Um, so after 11 months, to be able to carry on doing that is still phenomenal. So I guess today really was about the perspective of the business. We are just new. We have come a long way. We have got a long way to go. I don't think anybody denies that. We have got so far to go. Sometimes I can't even focus on how far we have to go because it's like the world, uh, map of the world be, uh, behind me. Some destinations are so far, but you know, they're all achievable. There is nothing that isn't achievable. Earlier this week, I was talking about having belief and somebody asked me is, you know, what what is it that gives you self-belief? Well, it's a handful of things. 
It's the dogged determination to always do what I exactly want to and to never, ever let anybody put me off. And of course, then massively, the support of people in this organisation. We wouldn't have come this far had we not had the collaborative support that people have given. That is one of the biggest things that has happened. Now, self-belief is important for absolutely anybody. And this isn't a personal development um, live uh, broadcast. I just want to mention it because it's so utterly people and so many people don't, don't have that self-belief. So, you know, always encourage people, help them with their belief and as an individual, you have to do some of the groundwork yourself because you have to have that dogged determination to just not give up on what you want. And companies like Viva MK um, become the vehicle to help you get there and to achieve what it is you want to achieve. Because when you want something bad enough, you will believe that you can do it. You know, I will never, ever, ever stop chasing what I want to achieve, not only in this business, but personally. And you have to honestly wake up with that dogged determination to do that against all adversity. It was so many, so easy along all our journeys to give up at any time. So bloody easy. Just think, you know what, I'll, I've had enough of this. That's fine, it, it, and it really was. But the, but, the, but the power is, is to not give up on something you truly want to achieve. Um, that's really all I wanted to say today. Um, the catalogue is finally with you, later than anticipated. But you know, let's have some perspective on this. It's been a strange all week, but in our business, you know, we are still seeing positive news, positive things, some great orders coming in. The game changer is on its way. You've seen the PDF now. So as far as the next few weeks are concerned, next week I'll give you a summary. And not only that, I'll give you some goals for the summer that we want to achieve. Maybe I'll be a bit more flexible with my dates next time. Um, but all I can say is um, as far as our collective and collaborative future is concerned. You know, I'm as optimistic as ever, and I know so many of you are, and that ongoing support is what helps me and helps all of us. So don't stop being the network that we set out to be. And that was a network of people working together, supporting each other, and named the people's business. And in time, that will be so prominent in the industry that not only did we pull through and we stuck to that ethos, but it becomes what we really are founded upon, people and the importance of people. Have a fantastic weekend and don't forget to order your catalogs from 3 p.m. today. They are finally landing with us. Take care, thank you, bye-bye.